Yeah, I mean, you're always a little sad when it ends. You know, when you don't quite get to where you want to go as a you know as a football team and program. But uh, you know, I'm proud of this class and this this uh, this group that we had in our senior class. It, uh, you know, they put in a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, to be where they were and kept our streak alive in the playoffs, and uh, you know, got second, tied for second in district. Uh, you know, I just think we were in a district that it, it was a tough district, but not as tough as some of those other Metroplex teams. I think that showed, you know, in, in uh, how we're all out of, uh, out of it already. Uh, you have obviously plenty of experience uh, having, not, not negative, but having seasons, you know, end and classes that uh, bring a different thing. What would you remember the most about uh, this year? Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's it's been they've been in our system their whole career, uh, and they're good kids, and uh, it's a, it's been a big senior class. You know, it's, it's the biggest one we've had since I've been here, as far as numbers go. Uh, Tanner Dabbert, you know, can't say enough about that kid and his leadership and uh, how he played for this football program uh, his whole high school career. The uh, is kind of looking a little bit more you know i mean yeah you you have an idea we had some great young kids i mean our, our jv was undefeated district champs of 10 and 0 freshmen were 91 district champs undefeated in district uh both b teams were really good uh, our jv b team was 73 our, our b team at the freshman was 91. uh both eighth grade uh, at lee and glenn were really solid good uh, uh glenn was undefeated and lee lost one game and that was to glenn so uh, we feel good about our young young kids coming. Uh, we haven't studied it to the point where we have an idea yet. Obviously, uh, you know, season's just now over, but we'll go to work on that. Going to do that this week. Uh, start testing, getting ready for off season. We come back to Thanksgiving. We're going to hit it running. What's the biggest thing that you feel that has you know, kind of less or something? That you feel like you to get yeah, we got to get. We got to get. Uh, we have to get better in our secondary. You know, some of that. Uh, we got to get better, you know, uh, athletes in the, those positions. We got to get faster as a team. Uh, we got to get stronger as a team. I think all that showed against Martin. Uh, we're not at that level yet. We got to get there. You know, we got to work hard to get get the most out of our kids in our program. And uh, secondary is an area that we got to get addressed. Uh, offensive line. You know, we've got some some guys coming back that are going to be big time helpers for us, but we got to find some too. Uh, those, you know, I think. Most programs will tell you the same thing. You know, it's hard to find offensive linemen. It's hard to find kids playing secondary, and uh, we, we've got to do a, a great job of trying to fill those holes. You can get one more uh, obviously from Al Malibu will be coming back next year. Um, how excited are you going to be, or how excited are you to get to see him kind of have an off season to develop and then yeah. get to play? Well, he got he got a lot better this year. You know, after a, a year of off season and going through everything we do as a quarterback and. And we expect him to, you know, to have those same kind of strides. Uh, he's going to have another off season and spring and summer and seven on seven, all that under his belt. Uh, and uh, we're looking for him to improve. And uh, yeah, and I know he will. Seems like every year you had some guy that stepped up at wide receiver. And now he's really moving from bigger position down to running. Tim Gabbard. Uh, is there anyone that kind of comes to mind? Well, I mean, you know, we got to have some of these guys that are juniors right now that have backup roles on this team this year to step up. You know, uh, Gethetch has got to step up. Malik uh, Haywood's got to step up. Uh, they know that, and their time's coming. Their time's here. Uh, they're going to have to be those guys that step up outside and go play that position and be another great one for us like, uh, like we've had in the past. And I think both of them will meet that challenge. Do you have uh, any um, ideas? So I know we you know, nobody knows. I mean, the uh, the numbers ought to, ought to come out here pretty quick. Uh, the UIL will release all those numbers, and then you can kind of figure it out better. It all depends on Tascosa. I think if they if they drop to five A, which there's a rumor they might, uh, I think it's a no brainer. We'll be out, you know, west with, with Midland, Odessa, Friendship, and Abilene, and us. That would make a great seventeen district. But you know, I. I don't know. No one knows. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll be out here. We want to be out here. That's you know. That's that's where we feel like we're home and the closest six A's to us in the state of Texas. And I think you know uh, we are, there, there's six of them right by us. So I think we ought to be able to be in a district with those guys. Hopefully, we will be. Do you think that it's just a different? It makes the season you know, district a little bit more special uh, playing 
Obviously. There's no doubt. No, I mean, I love to play in the, you know, we're going to play whoever we got to play. And we've always said that. And, uh, you know, we're going to go wherever we're told to go and we're going to play. But playing out west with our traditional rivals, yeah, yeah our games are better. You know, they're, they're, they're better attended. Uh, there's more tradition. There's more riding on it. Uh, communities know each other. You know, there's a lot of pride in all that. There's a lot of pride in the Little Southwest Conference, even though it's changed a lot. You know, it's still there. And uh, it's still a thing. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of it. And uh, we, we have been in the past, and I would like to be again in the future. And it's just, uh, you know, when we play Odessa Permian or Midland Lee or, or any of them, Midland High, uh, any of them out here, it's big crowds. There, there's a lot riding on and, uh And it would be great to get back to that. You've seen the stadium some really tough teams uh, last, certainly this last year. Uh, you, know, you expect to kind of keep that? Yeah, we're going to play anybody that will play us. We really will. I mean, uh, we're, we're playing some really good teams right now. Cedar Park, we're going to play them again. Shoemaker, we're going to play them again. Uh, we've got a couple of more on the line that we're talking to. I don't want to mention them because it's not uh, all the way done. But we're, we're going to have a tough non-district schedule and, and a challenging one that will get us ready for our district. And, and then uh, whatever district we're in, we're going to go be competitive. You know, we, we're excited about our football program. We have, uh, always have been. And uh, we've got really good uh, young kids that I feel are going to really make a difference and, and uh, you know, get this thing back to where we can get in the playoffs and make some noise in it. I just, you know, it's just a good senior class. It really was. Uh, good attitude. You know, we didn't have any issues all year. Uh, great kids, knew exactly what we wanted, showed up and busted their tail. Uh, it was a great senior class as far as the attitude and the character and, the, and all the intangibles, you know, and, and they played hard. They, they played as hard as they could every Friday night. We, they gave us everything they had, and, and uh, uh, it was a fun group to coach.